It's cranberry season, so today we're making cranberry chicken. This is a nice, easy dinner recipe that you can put together in about 30 minutes. It is delicious. It's got that nice cranberry sauce going on. It has a little sweetness and a little tartness that you're sure to love. I'm Rockin' Robin, and I'm gonna show you how to do it right after my chef joke. All right, here we go with chef joke number one. What did one cranberry say to the other at Christmas? Tis the season to be jelly. Okay, so we're gonna start off here talking about our cranberries. I have some organic ones here. You know, there's a lot of benefits to cranberries. They help prevent urinary tract infections and they reduce inflammation. They also improve heart health. They even help prevent cavities. Who knew? Now, some people need to be careful with cranberries because they contain a high level of oxalate. So if you are prone to kidney stones, you're gonna to wanna to check with your doctor before you consume them. Okay, so we're gonna to wanna to give these a rinse and then we're gonna pick through them just to, you know, make sure there's no bad ones in there. There's a couple here, so I'm gonna to toss those out. And into the saucepan they go. Now, instead of adding water to this, we're gonna add some flavorful chicken stock. Next, we're gonna add some balsamic vinegar and we want this to be thick and intense, so get a good one. It's gonna be a little expensive, but it's worth it, believe me. I hope you can tell how nice and thick and syrupy this is. Now I want to remind you, you can get the written recipe below the video in the description area. Check it out. We need to sweeten up our cranberry sauce a little bit, so we're going to be using some coconut sugar and some maple syrup. Ground ginger and allspice are our next two additions for our sauce. I'm adding a little sprig here of some fresh rosemary to infuse that flavor right into our sauce, so just drop it in. The last thing we're gonna add is a nice, sweet, juicy apple to our sauce. Core the apple, and then we'll go ahead and peel it and slice it up. You wanna slice this about 1 8 of an inch. It's pretty thin. We're gonna give this a nice stir, and then I'm gonna place it on the stove over medium heat until it comes to a little boil, and then I'm gonna lower the heat and simmer it until the cranberries start to pop. And then I'm gonna let it simmer um, probably about five or 10 minutes until it thickens up. And then you're gonna smash those cranberries just like you would the like button if you're enjoying this video. Now to cook up our chicken, I'm using some free range, boneless, skinless chicken thighs. They are the best to use because they're nice and juicy and it's pretty tough to overcook them. You can use bone in and skin on, just keep in mind that when you have the bone in the chicken, it takes about five or 10 minutes longer to cook them. I'm gonna go ahead and pat these dry and then we're just gonna put some salt, pepper, and garlic powder on these to season them up. Now we also need to slice up a couple of shallots. These are mild onions and they add a nice flavor to the dish. So we're just gonna cut these up I'm gonna peel them and then slice them thin and then we're ready to start cooking. Ideally, you're gonna to wanna to use a cast iron pan for this recipe, but any pan will work as long as you can put it in the oven. We're gonna preheat our pan here over medium high heat. Once your pan is hot, as you can see here, the smoke rising from it, that means it's hot, add some olive oil. Just add about a teaspoon, maybe two. You don't want too much in the pan, just enough to coat the bottom. Give that oil a swirl and then start adding your chicken. Place your chicken seasoned side down, and then we're gonna season the top. Now don't touch the chicken, just let it sear for three to four minutes. I'm gonna season this second side here with the salt, pepper, and garlic powder. After three or four minutes, we'll flip the chicken over and you can see the nice crust that we're developing here. And uh, when it's done, we'll place it onto a plate. If you have one of these splatter guards, these work great at keeping the grease from splattering all over your stove. Once the second side is done, go ahead and remove the chicken to a nice clean plate. You probably notice all the brown bits in the bottom of the pan, and those mean flavor. So now we're gonna take our onions and we're gonna toss those in there. It's a little dry in the pan, so I'm gonna add a little bit more olive oil. And then take a wooden spoon and try and scrape up those bits that are stuck to the bottom of the pan. That's just gonna put a lot of flavor into those onions. After a couple of minutes of cooking the onions, we're gonna add the cranberry sauce. Just pour it right in the pan, and now it'll be real easy to scrape up those brown bits. Now I'll place the chicken thighs back into the pot and kind of nestle them in there a little bit. 
and then take a spoon and then just cover the chicken with the sauce. And then I like to place a few sprigs of fresh rosemary over the top. Then we'll place this into a 375 degree Fahrenheit oven for, we'll check it at maybe 14, 15 minutes. If you've been waiting for chef joke number two, well, here it is. Why don't chickens tell jokes to their eggs? Because it might crack them up. Like I said, these cook up quick. These were done in 14 minutes. You want your internal temperature to be 165. This dish is great served with either white rice or even cauliflower rice to keep the carbs low. And of course, make sure you get plenty of that sauce. This is definitely a 30 minute meal and it is quick and delicious. It's got that beautiful sweet tart flavor that I'm sure you're gonna love. Now because we're getting into the cold and flu season, you might want something to help boost your immune system. So check out my immune boosting tea here. Click the link on the screen here and it'll take you right to it. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, let me know by smashing the like button and leaving me a comment. I love hearing from you. All right, we'll see you back here next week for another rockin' recipe. Cheers.